hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl kinesthetic and i'm here with you guys today with a new video So as you guys can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a little different. Today is Thursday, April 16th, and I made the executive decision that it is time to organize, okay? I have, uh, my biggest concern is I have hair products all over. I want to keep all of them. I just don't know how to organize them and where to put them. I'm running out of space, okay? So this video will be over a quest of days of me figuring out what furniture I need or what items I need for organization as well as me putting it together and you guys seeing the finished product so that's what we'll be doing in this video so if you guys are not subscribed make sure y'all hit that red subscribe button down below i don't know if we'll be at 5k by the time this video goes up but either way as i'm recording this video i'm on the road to 5k subscribers on my youtube channel so make sure you guys subscribe y'all can join the family and y'all can see the greatness that happens on this channel, okay? Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy, if you guys like this kind of content. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts, your comments, your opinions, anything that may be on your mind. And, um, oh, I'm posting a video every day while we're in quarantine. So make sure you have your post notifications on. I just woke up, so I'm looking kind of scruffy, but don't mind that. But let's go ahead and get into this video, okay? Okay, so first of all, don't judge my room. I don't care. And I just want to share it with y'all. Okay, so hair products. I have hair products all in here. I have them organized by like um, leave-in conditioners, deep conditioners, styling products. So all of that is here. I have some rollers right here. And then I have this big black bag of like braiding hair that I use whenever I do braided styles. So all of this has just accumulated over time. At first, I just had the three containers and that was fine. But then, you know... The containers started overflowing. Things cannot fit in the containers. We have things up here. And I just don't like seeing stuff. So I want all of this to go somewhere, right? Then over here, I have hair products all in my closets. At the foot of my closet, I have a whole bunch of hair products in here. I have hair products over here. I have hair products over here. And I just need all of them. I wish they could have fit in those containers, but they cannot. So we have all of these products here, all of these products over there. I already did giveaways. I got rid of everything I did not want and everything I was not going to use. And these is, this is like the remainder. And our collection is always growing because I'm always receiving things. Unfortunately, I'm still buying things that I want to try. So that's what we're dealing with and this is what i want to take care of okay so my plan is to this is my desk area it's currently a mess it's okay i'm working working from home and we have a whole bunch of other things that need to be cleared okay so this is my little filming area here so this is where y'all be seeing me hey girl hey but it's just a mess right now it's okay so my plan is to get rid of all of these sneakers and put them in the sneaker part of my closet we'll figure that out but here, I want to put the taller set of Alex drawers from um, Ikea. So I have two sets of the Alex drawers here that hold my desk up. So I want to go ahead and get the taller set and put that here. That's going to probably require me to push this over a little bit. So um, my desk is already not centered to my TV. So that's not a problem for me. I don't care. It's not that deep. Um, but I'm going to clear my desk up. I don't like usually like things on my desk. But over time, you know, selling things work from home, new products, X, Y, and Z ends up being here, okay? So that's the plan. Desk is going to be shift over. These stuff will now be in the drawers that are going over here, and then I'm going to take my lamp and put it over here so that it can oversee my desk this way. So that's my plan right now. I'm trying to see what else I want to order. This is my work computer. This is my mac desktop and then behind that i have i have my makeup brushes here i kind of and some lippies i want to organize this a little bit different so i'm currently on ikea's website trying to figure out you know what i need i just want to organize everything so that's what we'll be doing in this video okay so i'm on ikea's website right now and so far i have the alex drawer units with the nine drawers the taller one that i was speaking to you guys about um in my cart it's 159 dollars and um and i have the black brown 
so that's the same color as the two drawer sets that I already have um, other things that I want from Ikea's website I want to see if I could get like some drawer organization so that I can organize the drawers that I have my makeup in and like my hair tools those drawers are a hot mess so I'm gonna see if I could find some organization stuff on Ikea's website and then I'll come back to show you guys my final card hey guys I'm back I went ahead and did some finger coils in my hair and I'm gonna let it dry and then like take it apart a little bit but it came out real good it took me a long while but it was worth it so back to my organization fiasco so what I'm doing now is I'm let me show y'all I'm basically going through each of my drawers and I am this is like all the stuff that I just had shoved in this drawer. So what I'm doing is I'm going through each drawer and I'm basically writing down like what organization tools I feel like I need for each drawer. So here I have like I wrote down left drawer since these are my drawers on my left. And the top drawer, which is this one, houses like my flexi rods and some on the other miscellaneous things. So for here, I feel like I need three long containers to separate my flexi rods. And then I'll probably put like three smaller ones here to organize like the miscellaneous stuff I have in this drawer. This drawer, I had like my hair tools, but since the long drawer is like the taller one we're going to get, it's going to be for hair stuff. I'll probably move this drawer over to one of those drawers and then utilize this drawer for something more like stationary so um, that's what I'm thinking now but I'm doing the organization tools based off of what I have in the drawer right now so in here I have a lot of combs and brushes so I need like two long organizers for um those I have my perm rods and like alligator clips in here so I'll get like smaller like square containers for those and then I have these products which will be shifted to one of the product drawers once we figure that out I have like hair accessories beads clips hair clips like hair accessories and then I had some more hair products in here so all of this is going to be organized but I really just had all of this shoved in here so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do that and then I will be back afterwards to show you guys my final list as well as um the um organizers that I'm gonna order from Amazon and as I'm cleaning I'm just watching my boo Raven Elise Zaya's fourth birthday party video so I'm just gonna do this and then I'll be back okay so I'm still like going through my drawers to organize and stuff but yeah I have, so this is what you guys saw behind my Mac desktop screen. And I have all of my makeup brushes in here. Some of them are dirty, don't judge. But I also have a whole bunch of lippies. So all my lip liners are right here. And then I have a whole bunch of lippies. But I'm just like low-key mad at myself because look at this. I'm swatching all of these things. And honestly, I wear the same lip most of the time. So I'm going to challenge myself from here on out to wear different, um lipsticks whether i'm going out which i don't know when that's gonna happen or whether i'm recording and i'm doing different makeup looks i'm gonna challenge myself to try a new lippy each time so that's what we're gonna do this lip gloss is like oh no mm -mm. this is a mac and alia collection of gloss i just found it where is it oh this one it's like separated like no it's a no it's a go in the bag but i'm here i'm watching patricia bright my girl and I'm gonna finish cleaning up and then I'll be back. Hey guys, so today is Saturday, April 18th, and it's a couple days later. So I basically organized my drawers. I threw like anything I wasn't using away, and I ordered my IKEA drawers yesterday, and I ordered my um draw organizers on Thursday. So the draw organizers should be here on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I'm going to organize the drawers that I have already. And then my Ikea drawers are coming on Saturday. And on Saturday, I'm going to build them. You guys will be with me as I struggle to build them. And then I'm going to go ahead and organize those drawers. So the reason why I ordered the organizers to come earlier is so that I can see them. And then if I like them, if I need more, then I can go ahead and order more. So we're just playing a waiting game now. But I did want to show y'all my hair. So this is basically day three of that same finger coil that you guys saw in the previous clip from whatever day that was. But yeah. Hey guys, so today is Sunday, April 19th, and I started getting some packages in for our organization. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got, and I'm going to kind of start organizing. So I'll be recording that too, but back to what I got. 
So I got this grip. Uh, what is this called? Grip paper from Target. I picked it up in store, but they do have it online. So that will be linked down below. But um, with the acrylic organizers, they do move in the drawer. So I'm going to line my drawers with this so that um when i put the acrylic organizers in they don't slip inside so i got this from target it was like 4.99 i'll have a link down below i got one roll for now but i think i'm gonna need a second roll for when our um set of nine of drawers comes in so i got that oh, oh. come on Janae. um then i got some of my organizers from amazon so i have the names of each one on the screen so that you guys can easily reference them at the links down below I have so first i have the whitmore three section stackable small drawer organizer so this is it it has three sections and it can fit in my drawer like this so i'm planning to use this for um some of my makeup drawers as well as stationary drawers so drawers where i need to put like paper clips um push pins or any of that we will have one of these in there also when i ordered i got like one of each Thing that i wanted so that i can one make sure the quality is good two um like see how many i would need or see if it's actually what i was looking for before i went ahead and ordered a whole bunch of them so this was sold like set of one but these were sold set of six so these are the story um i think these are like three by nine or nine by three organizers it's linked down below but these are sold in a set of six so i got six of these but these are long trays i can hopefully i hope i can fit up oh, can't even fit i thought i was going to be able to fit my flexi rods in here but as you guys can see it's not long enough so i'm going to see if these are offered in like a longer dimension so that my flexi rods can fit in it i think yeah i don't think any of them could fit oh these could fit like the smaller ones so i'm gonna go ahead and line my the drawers i'm starting with i'm going to start with one of my makeup drawers and um the drawer that i have all of my hair stuff in like hair clips and stuff so i'll fast forward this part
Are you listening? Damn. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did one draw, so I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like. Okay, so the organization of things is not finalized yet, because as we go on, I'm going to move and shuffle things around. Um, so I'll just show you guys what I have here. So this is the, oh my God, my nail broke off. I got a glue back on, this is ghetto, but we in quarantine, so don't judge me. So this is the three compartment organizer that I got. So I have like, lippies in here some little nars samples and here i have like all of my eyelash stuff um and some other miscellaneous stuff and then here i have my blotting sheets a mirror contact cases and here i put setting powders so laura 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 mented huda beauty and then this little laura mercier powder puff here I have a pack of lashes because they weren't able to fit like anywhere else in this drawer. But I feel like eventually I have a lot more lashes so I'm going to find a way to organize my lashes better. I really really like how the, pow the powder sit in here. Um, so I'll probably keep this set up in this tray. Here I have like some random Fenty stuff, Fenty liner, Fenty lippies and a patch of Ta lip gloss. And then in here I have my prescribed glasses. Here I have some random mirrors and palettes. Here I have like my lotions that I just randomly grab to throw in my purses. And then in here I have eyelashes and a flush foundation just randomly in here. So this is how it is so far. I'm definitely going to change it up. But now I know like how many compartments I need for each drawer. So I'm going to go ahead and order more. And then I'll be back once they come to show you guys how I further organize. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday the 21st. And I received some more goodies in the mail. So, yeah, I just be ordering. I don't even know what I'm ordering. But I didn't even know this came with two. But this is the compact, what is it? Cos cosmetic brush, cosmetic and brush organizer. So, this is it. I was going to put in, like, my highlighters and maybe, like, blushes in here. So, we'll see once we open it up. But... Today I plan to organize the stuff that I received yesterday as well as these two just to see, you know, if I like it or not so I can go ahead and order more. So that's what we'll be doing today. Okay, so I just cleaned out this makeup drawer. Although this is full of makeup and this was like my backup drawer. Um, so organize things kind of, but this is everything that I'm getting rid of. And I am so proud of myself because I never let things go. I never let things go so all of these old foundations they gotta go all of these products that I probably have never used like they have to go so so proud of myself I'm gonna go ahead and baggage just throw it away and then I'll be back to show y'all what I do over here first I'm gonna wipe my jaw with my Lysol wipe to disinfect it as you guys can see it's dirty these drawers have not been cleaned since I got them years ago, I'm just going to be honest. Okay, so I lined up my draw with the thing, as you guys can see. I think I might put my lippies and my brushes, maybe. So, 
I took one of these cases that I got today. Um, this is the cosmetic and brush organizer and I kind of put some lippies in here. Well, I did put some lippies in here. I have my minted um, liquid lipsticks, my Bobbi Brown lipsticks, Dose of Colors, Uma Beauty, and then minted cosmetic semi-matte lipsticks. So I just have them organized in here. Since this drawer is taller, I think I'm going to put these in here because it could stand up maybe. But this is how it looks in here. So I think I'm going to leave this in here for now and then we'll see depending on whatever else we have going on. I'm not too sure how I want to organize these yet, but I just want to show you guys how I organize these little cases. So I did get these from, I got a set of three of these container organizer things from Amazon. Came in a set of three, I'll have a link down below. But in here I just have my main makeup brushes that I use and my Real Technique sponge that I be using. So... Since I only have one case of lippy so far, I'm going to go ahead and just put that there. Um, This is like my eyebrow stuff, eyeliners, and mascara. I think eventually I'm going to break them into like three separate compartments. But for right now, I have all three of them together. So I have that. And then I have this. The other um, cosmetic and brush organizer, I have blushes, highlighters, some contourish thing, another highlighter, a MAC powder, a blush, and my champagne pop highlighter. So, I think that can go there. Yeah, I do not know what I'm doing. And then I have these two other casings i put my foundations and concealer and primer the ones that i mainly use in here and then all of my extra ones that or ones that i don't use as often in here so i have these two um i'm not too sure how i'm gonna do this now And I like these containers because they are stackable. So I can go ahead and put this one on top of this one without it like smushing or going in too much. So I really, really like that. So I think what I'm going to do actually is stack these three, which I can do in this drawer since it's so tall. So I stack these three. So I have my main foundations and concealers at the top, my main makeup brushes in between, and then the ones that I don't use as often underneath. And I can go ahead and stack that. Oh, wow. That's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. I'm excited. And then I can put this here for now. So I have these. I'm going to put like my body illuminators in here too. So this is my Brown Sugar by Fenty Beauty Body Lava. And I have a backup of it, of course. So I'll put that in here too. And then I have this Mirabella Gilded Glow. I forgot who mentioned this in their video. Maybe it was like Aaliyah J. But it's just like another body illuminator highlight situation. So I'll go ahead and put that here. I'm trying to keep like products together. So when I'm looking for things, I'm not in a scuffle and I know exactly where it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my setting sprays in here. So my Urban Decay All Nighter and my MAC Fix Plus. I'm going to slip those in here. And then I have... A mini fix plus for when I travel and this Garnier skin active soothing facial mist so I'll just put that in here too so let me show you guys how it looks okay, so this is how the draw looks right now subject to change because I want all of my lippies to be in a draw together so this back here that has the lippies in it is going to be removed this is how the three look when I stack them up and the draw can close comfortably so I absolutely love these definitely gonna order more of these and then I might also use these for lippies and like lay them down versus have them standing up because that way I'll be able to store more Ooh, that's good and then if I do want to put the stackable ones in here I think I'll be able to stack two versus three with the draw closing comfortably so that's what I think I'm gonna do here my lippies so I have this here I have my highlighters blushes contour stuff here my eyebrow mascara eyeliners 
body glow setting sprays and then my last setting sprays right here so that's how this drawer is looking right now and now i'm gonna go ahead and move on to um I'm gonna move on to this drawer actually. So this was like my hair accessories drawer. I went ahead and I already organized the contents of this drawer in these little containers. So I'm gonna see how I can organize this drawer now. So this is what the drawer looks like. I'll go ahead and put a before picture so that we can see the side-by-side -side comparison to see how far we have come but this is how it looks so back here i have the accessories combs scrunchies pins and accessories and clips so that's how it's looking right now um what else can i do right now so that's what i did here i did this drawer and i'm trying to tackle this one so here i had like my makeup backups um so down here i think i'm gonna put like makeup bags so these are bags that i put makeup in when i travel i have a whole lot of eyelashes so i want that to go down here i ordered an organizer for my lashes so for now i'm just going to keep them together basically everything in this drawer i'm just going to put together and then when the organizers come then i'll show you guys how i organize it but that's basically all i'm going to do today i know i'm going to need more of this so i'm either going to go to target if they have more order it online but we were able to line three drawers and we probably still have enough for like maybe three or four more but i just want to have enough so i don't have to worry about running out guys look what came today so my ikea stuff came today i also got these bookends to put here to hold my books because they be slipping and sliding so don't mind my missing nail. I got it still. It's coming back soon. But I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And then I'm going to move stuff around so we can get going with today's task. Okay, so I went ahead and put the book in. So I definitely need more books. Because um, that's the aesthetic I want for this backdrop. But this will do for now. So this is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and build some my alligator drawers and put them here so as you guys can see i have all of my sneaker boxes and stuff here let me give you guys a quick overview of what's about to happen so here i have flexi rods perm rods and curl formers these are all going to go in a drawer my sneakers i'm going to move to over here temporarily all of this stuff will be unboxed and put in drawers in my Alex drawers. Don't mind my laundry. We're taking care of that today. And then over here, I have some brushes that I already organized to put in a drawer or another. I have my comb here from when I detangled my hair last night. Um, and yeah, I need to clean up the back of my chair. My camera equipment, which is going to be organized somewhere hair products which will be in our new drawer sewing machine and sewing goods which will be cleaned up okay so this is the before i'm gonna insert a picture of it so you guys can see and then we'll compare it to the after <laughs> Okay, step one, I successfully moved my lamp from over here to over here. It feels kind of weird because I'm used to light coming from this way in my room. But I do have this wall lamp and I think the bulb died, but I have extra bulbs. So I'm going to replace that and hopefully that can fill the void of the lack of light over here. But I moved that to over here. So now, um, I believe the width of the drawers is 9 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and clear space here so that my Fenty gloss. So I can go ahead and build the frame of the drawers in my room and put it here. And then build the drawers in my staircase and plug them in as we go. So that's what I'm going to do next. 
Also, guys, as I was cleaning, guess what I found? Guess what I found? The remote for my freaking Apple TV. I've been using the remote on my phone for the longest. So, hopefully this thing is charged. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But I'm just so happy that I found it. Okay guys, I just finished the frame of my Alex and I and Gerard's. It took me about an hour to build a frame, which I don't think is bad. So this is the frame. I'm so excited. It's not as tall as I like envisioned it to be. I thought it would come up like a little higher, but I think it's fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build the drawers now and then I'll be back once I'm putting them in. If you guys want to see a video on how to build them, I'll find one and link it down below. But it's pretty simple um, with the instructions. I also did these before, so it's very similar for me. So I'm just like breezing through it. So yeah. Yeah, I am done building my drawers. The drawers took about two hours, but I'm finally done. I'm going to go ahead and wipe everything down and line my drawers. And then I'll be back to show you guys me putting things in these drawers. I'm so excited. And I can also move my desk over a little bit because I want it to like connect directly. So I'm going to do that too. But yeah. Hey y'all. So my camera died. So I did what I could do while it was dead. And now we're back. So I went ahead and filled my drawers up. So I just want to walk you guys through how I organize my drawers. And as you guys can see, I put my baby, my singer, my sewing machine at the top. So that's what we have up here. And just so you guys know, I've been wiping everything down with these Clorox disinfectant wipes. These are bay. I like the Clorox wipes better than the Lysol wipes. And I have them in my Amazon store. I'll put multiple links. But as you guys know with everything going on in the world right now, probably sold out. But um, I do post when they come back in stock on my IG story. So make sure you guys follow me on IG. But I've literally been wiping everything down one because some of these things i haven't cleaned in like years and two i just want like a fresh clean start so i've just been wiping literally everything down okay so this is drawer number one so i don't know if you guys remember my comb drawer that i had in my five drawer alex but i basically Brought that over here. Just so you guys know, these drawers don't come out as much as the um the five Alex. So I just want to say that. So in here I have my combs, I have my brushes here, my picks, and then I have my alligator clips. This is what I use to hold my hair while I'm styling and washing my hair. I got these from Amazon, so they will be in my store down below. Some bobos. Um, braid accessories and some butterfly clips so that's basically what i have in this drawer and as you guys can see it's pretty stuff so nothing else is going in here unless it can fit in this little acrylic organizer or in this wide one that i put in the middle so this is drawer number two and in here i just put the leftover styling products that i have so i have a little bit of everything um styling creams um 
moisturizers i just have a little bit of everything in this draw so this is draw number two and this one has no acrylic organizers i did line it so that as i'm like opening and closing the draw the products don't slip and slide around also um lining the drawers keeps the drawers from getting dirty in case we have any product spillage or anything like that so this is draw number two so draw number three in here i have my rollers this drawer still needs work I'm not even going to lie because I don't like the fact that things are moving around. But I have my sticky rollers. So these are the rollers that have like the Velcro on them. I got this on sale from a store that was closing. But I have these. And then I have the regular rollers. Y'all yeah, know from the Dominican washing set. I got these on sale too. And then I have some of my smaller perm rods in between. Because I was trying to use as much space as possible. And then I have like edge styling products here. So I have my curls. I have my TT Does It All cream. Some extra perm rods that couldn't fit in between here. Um, some mists for here. So I have this one. I have one from The Do. I have my serum from We Dad. That I used in my wash video that I uploaded I believe yesterday by the time this video is up and then I have some like travel size hair products so that's basically what I have in this drawer this drawer still needs work so once I figure out what I'm gonna do to it I will update you all this is drawer number four quattro so in here I have all of my styling foams I honestly don't think it's a lot but my sister was like let me see how many styling foams you have so all of these are styling foams and all of these are leave-in conditioners that couldn't fit in a leave-in conditioner drawer and then as you guys can see i have a little space here so if i do find like one more product i can go ahead and put it here but in this drawer we have styling foams and leave-in conditioners so this is drawer number five so this is the leave-in conditioner drawer so i have all of my leave-ins in here as you guys can see this drawer looks probably the most sane and the most organized um but i have all of my leave-ins so my lustrous pink um oil moisturizer curl cgin palmers curls dynasty just leave-in conditioners in this drawer so then in this drawer, drawer number six, I have all of my shampoos and conditioners. So this is where the chaos begins. This is the first of the larger drawers of the Alex and I. Let me take my slippers off so I can get real comfortable. But I have all of my shampoos and conditioners in here. And I wanted to organize by product type. So as I am doing wash days or I'm looking for products, I can just go to the assigned drawer pick it out and call it a day before i would have had to scummage through bins scummage through boxes and i didn't like the thought of that it just gave me anxiety so in here i have shampoos and conditioners and more shampoos and more conditioners so that is draw number six okay so this is draw number seven so this draw is allocated for deep conditioners so i have all of my deep conditioners in here hair treatments hair masks all of that is in this drawer and it was able to fit everything that I decided to keep. So these are the conditioners. Then in here I have more styling products. So this was the first drawer I did for styling products. And since this is one of the larger drawers of the Alex 9, I decided to make sure I put like the taller products in here first and then fill it up from there. So a lot of products I had duplicates of like my almond jai twisting butter and a lot of other things so i just kept one of everything and then the other ones that i had i put it in my to-go box which i'll show you guys shortly so these are styling products this is the last draw and in here i have all of my um i guess hair styling tools you can say so i have my flexi rods and i basically have two of these and i stack them up i believe these are the nine by six um acrylic organizers i have it on the screen as i'm saying it which organizers i put in each draw and then i have two of these larger ones the bottom one has my orange perm rods since i do have a lot of orange perm rods and then i put the rest of my flexi rods in here and then i have my curl formers over here and over here and then if i push this over i still have like a little space so i can see what i can do there but that is basically how i organized my alex and i i'm absolutely in love with it and it made me organize a lot this is my to-go box so these are all of the things that i went through and i decided hey girl you have too much of them hey girl you had this forever you're not gonna use it so i just had to be real with myself and oops, and 
put this box together so from this big box y'all yeah, might be looking at it like girl what so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split it into smaller boxes um and send them out to you guys and all i'm asking people to do is pay for shipping because i know how important it is to take care of your natural hair and you guys may not you know want to spend the money on the products or whatever i'm located in new york city so um i did ask on instagram for three people to send boxes to but i'm opening this invitation to anybody who's made it this far into the video and is interested in getting a box of random hair products i will be putting it together i don't let people specify what they want so you'll get stuff from here but everything in here is good we have some suave products maui moisture i have some camille rose full size products in here dove alodia hair care lester's pink so lots of products in here so if you are interested in getting one of my mini mystery giveaway boxes then go ahead and one make sure you're subscribed to my channel because if you made it this far then i feel like you messed with me and you need to be subscribed two follow me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore three comment on this video and let me know um so just comment on this video what's your favorite part of my reorganizing project and include your favorite color as the last word in your comment but don't say my favorite color is just put it so if it's pink then you will put my favorite part of this reorganizing project is the alex and i drawers pink that's it don't make it hot okay so one of you guys will be getting one of these boxes along with my ig followers also follow me on ig because i'm always posting about giving away products so you guys can win products that way too but just make sure you're following me on ig But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and keep organizing and then I'll be back with the finished product product project to show you guys how everything came out looking like. Y'all, working out yesterday was the worst decision that I made because my body is so sore, like so sore. I'm so tired, but it's getting done and I'm really loving how it's coming out. So yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back and this is basically the finished project. So I just want to walk you guys through it. Don't mind the mess of over here. My closet is up next. But here we are. So here, empty space. First time in a while. I have some developers from um, when I when my sister colored here for me. But I didn't want to lay them down in any drawer. So I just left them here. And then we have my two five Alex drawers. They're still under construction, but it's fine for now. Then I have this that I got from Ikea that lays across. So I've had this set up since before this video. Um, I do want to replace this because as you guys can see, it's, it's an all. So I'm going to get like a glass overlay to um, switch it out for, but as a project and a coin for another time i went ahead and went through all my receipts and mail so this is now clean and organized makeup palettes this is how i decided to store them so i got these from amazon i'll have the name of these and the dimensions on the screen but everything will be in my amazon store down below so i organized my palettes and then at the top i put um my long ones and some other ones but this just looks so much cleaner to me so this is this. This lamp I got from Target um, a while ago when I was in college. So I just have this here and I do need to get two more light bulbs that give off the same light as this so that I can have a nice and bright setup here. Then I have my iMac. Um, I want to get like a little acrylic stand so it can sit on top of it and that way I can put my mouse and my keyboard under it when I'm not using it. So that's going to be ordered soon from Amazon and I'll have it in my Amazon store once I order it so you guys can see which one I decided to get. So I have that. I have a picture of me and my dad right here. And then I have um, my phone stand which helps with productivity and just making sure I don't miss any alerts on my phone. I did get this from Amazon. Let me take it out to show you. I got this from Amazon. So I have it in my Amazon store down below. But this is how it looks. And it also flexes. So it doubles as like a tripod whenever I want to take pictures by my windowsill. So that's lit. And then I have this 
little pink bucket i just have some like coins and stuff in here so i need to find a different way to store these and then i have this vase i'm gonna go ahead and put some faux flowers in there when outside opens back up i'm gonna get them from like home goods or um michael's and then i have my little mirror here that i use when i do my makeup so basically i love how my desk is clear now because this is my work area this is my sewing area this is my vanity when i do my makeup so i just want it to be clear so whatever purpose i'm using it for i can go ahead and use it for that so that is what we're working with here then i have my apple tv which used to sit on top of here but obviously there's no space for it now so i need to find somewhere to put this but for now i'm just gonna have it sit here then over here we have my nine alex drawers which i went through earlier and then on top i have my sewing machine as the makeup brushes these are gonna go in one of these drawers once i get the rest of my acrylic organizers this week because this one ended up being too long for the draw, so that's the problem. I have this cute little Polaroid that I'm going to add to the door frame of my mirror. And then I have some other miscellaneous stuff here, but the objective is to have all of this clear, but this is what it's looking like right now. And then I have my little filming area, so you guys know my backdrop if y'all watch my videos. I do need to get pictures printed to put in these frames because it's been long enough. So I'm going to order those tomorrow so they can send it to my house. And then I am going to, I'm in the process of updating my filming area. So these soft boxes, I just feel like they're too bulky and they take up too much space. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new lighting system. Well, I'm going to try out a new lighting system for my recording. And then I have my camera, my ring lights, my little stool that I got from Home Goods, And then I have some Febreze back there for my room. So... That is basically, and then I have like some giveaway stuff on the floor that I'm going to take care of. But this is basically the finished product. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to record it since this was a project, okay? My body is sore. But I just wanted to show you guys the progress and transformation that I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys enjoyed. Don't forget about my little giveaway that I included. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video, which will be tomorrow because I'm posting every day during quarantine. And yeah, later. Love you guys.